are gonna cook up some gar. What is the best way to clean an alligator bar? Just like that, get them nice and clean. That's where they're easy, they're not slimy, easy to work with. We're taking the back straps out today. Yep. We're gonna show you how we do that, and we're gonna do that using a power tool. These are legal size alligator gar out of the Trinity River. We don't eat a bunch, but sometimes we do, and they are good. There's different ways you can cook them. On the grill directly, you can fry it, you can make gar balls. There's a bunch of different ways. They're super, super hard. You can see how hard they are. It's just by looking at it, it's like a, a dinosaur or a dragon. You hear that? What I like to use for these guys, power tools. Let's see how a grinder does. This tool is called a Dremel, or an oscillating multi-tool. And across this way. This way the tail's out of the way. Go ahead and start skinning. All this just like this. Just get under the skin, as close as you can, use the tip of your knife. just peels back just like that easy peasy the hardest thing they're just like any fish guys the hardest thing is just to crack open the shell that's really the biggest point point. and you don't want to ruin your knives trying to get into the shell don't even waste your time on it there you go that's how you do one side we'll do the other side right now yep doing good yep perfect just against that shell that's exactly right Good job, fish like that. Look at you, natural. See? Let's say thank you for joining us on this Catch Clean Cook. Haven't done one in a while, and uh, we moved out here to a, our farm. It's really hot in Texas, it's been really dry, but we love it. It's a mess right now, I'll just give you a sneak peek. Our pond is it's nice and big, but it's going down a little bit. But uh, we got pigs, we got chickens definitely have fish and we moved right on the Trinity River where these monsters live and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these guys soaking up and marinating and we're gonna clean them off and then we're gonna go ahead and just get the meat right off of this and on the other side of the spine get real close to the spine right here just stay close 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 to the skin like this under close all the way until it finally Slides off, and then you have your back strap, which is super, 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 super tender. We'll get it on ice here in just a moment. And you're pushing away as you're cut. Pretty much off already. You're just doing it until it rolls off, but you're not ripping it because it'll fall apart on you. It'll become mush. All right, and then we can clean the silver and the veins later on. Here's another piece. Even birds eat that. <laughs> Landed on him. Look, he's got it. He likes Gar. You have wasted absolutely zero and then you have a cool skull. So I'll keep it here and let the, let the animals peck on it. Hit that like, subscribe, join the tribe. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for joining on this video. This is just one way to cook alligator Gar. We're gonna have many more videos to show you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. It's been a while since I've done a Catch Clean Cook. But there's a lot coming, especially now that we're living full-time Texas jungle. Basically, I'm just a businessman that decided to take my five kids and my wife, take my family, move them out to East Texas, and live the Texas jungle lifestyle here. And we're building a homestead, and we're going to just share everything with you. From raising chickens, to fishing, alligator gar, whatever you want to think of it, we're going to do it. Let's go. Mama made us some buttermilk. What'd you do? Half and half of vinegar? Yes. 
We're gonna let uh, some of these marinate in this buttermilk. Like anything, it's really hard, and why not use power tools that are easier to use? You know, the, the, the hardest part is to get through the shell. Fine. Right. You start separating, start cutting this meat. And that's why you don't want to play with this meat too much because it's so tender. You just want to give one sharp cut. Sweet meat. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna go do the other one right now. One back strap. That's just a back strap. How much meat is on that? Like 36 inches? Maybe three feet. So small, yeah. small fish. So you get a lot of meat. our back straps and then the rest of the animals we eat. Okay, y'all enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ori, we did good. So let's put this on ice real quick, let it marinate. Right. This is basically uh, buttermilk that my wife made. She mixed vinegar with half and half and then uh, I put some beer on the meat and we can put another beer on there and it just all it does it doesn't take away all the flavor it just cleans it out and then we'll come behind and trim everything that's not desired we'll make it on a grill kind of fry it up a little bit and see how that tastes fried and on the grill so there we go appreciate you oh! what in the world yeah, I'm sorry Okay, so we have our seasoned flour. So that's gonna get nice and hot. I have a deep end over there, I realize that. But that's okay. We're just gonna do a few at a time on a fryer and then we're gonna do a few right here. You want this to get to about uh, 50. Oh man! All right, honest review for my uh, Cajun two-step brother. He's probably not gonna like me, but it's got MSG in it. I can't serve it to my family. We're gonna try it this time. See, you put it. Man, come on, man! Why would you put that in your spices, man? All right, no attack, but it does have MSG, so y'all be ready for that. So I can't, I have to make my own, brother. I got, I'm gonna have to make my own without MSG in it. Just for the healthy people. It's got plenty of cayenne in it, so it's, it's, it's spicy. This could be a spicy fish right here. I'm gonna put some lemon on it later too. I'm 
almost looks like salmon with that with that seasoning. Put it on just like that. That looks really nice, actually. That looks really good. Nice. Right, so we got this guy ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put this first one in there right now. <laughs> He's biting me. <laughs> He's biting me. He's biting me. That looks really nice, actually. It's all cooking nicely. I'm gonna close this for a minute. Cooking with grease for sure. Ethan, are you gonna help us taste? Only put a little bit of this on yours so it's not gonna be spicy. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Oh, uh, it's mostly spicy. your seasoning. Now, what'd you put in there? Let's tell, go with this. Tell everybody what you put in there. Seasoned salt. You know, ish. You don't salt. Have to say. Uh huh. Flour. And some breadcrumbs and some seasoned breadcrumbs. Very nice. So we just use just some corn oil, yeah, I guess. Good. And then you're gonna Here's put a little bit of hot sauce or no? I would put it on your plate and kind of dip it if you want. Yeah, we'll do that. Tell me what you think. Oh, and mom is gonna use a knife and fork. Mom, this is supposed to be like a Cajun meal. I know. They would laugh at what that. you're doing right now. You use your hands, my little French princess. <laughs> Belgium French princess. <laughs> Um, How'd that do? How'd that do? I'm excited for you to try it while it's still hot. They say to try it while it's hot. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. Tell me what you well, think. Let me just do it without, and then I'll do it. Go with. for it. This seems. Bite it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah. How is it? Great. Your first impression. What's it remind you of? Do you think of anything? Chicken. He jumps. To be really honest. It's like chicken of the sea. Mm -hmm. Chicken of the river. Because, uh, yeah, it really is. Sometimes it reminds me of crab meat. Depend, depends yeah, how yeah. I eat it. But I want you to try this too. We're cooking this over here, Mom, as well. You're liking that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want you to try this. This looks like it's cooked pretty well. I'll let it rest a little bit. Can you move it over a little bit for me? Mm -hmm. That looks good. Okay, so I want you to try this real quick and tell me what you think. And, and there's going to be parts that might be a little bit more of on your rarer side. But I made sure that this one was cooked well for you, Mom. And then we have a little bit more on a grill over here that's cook that's cooking. I'm gonna close that up here. Lower that a little bit. We shut our oil off so it doesn't burn. They say you don't want to reheat oil, but you can. It's for you. Oh, that's sweating. Just a lemon and it's better. It's like the it's like the tenderest, tastiest chicken tender you've ever had if you compared it to the chicken. When it comes to fish, it's not fishy. It's not fishy right now. <laughs> it's not fishy. Yeah. I would not know this was fish. You would think it's chicken. Yep. What about what the price of chicken right now? That's yeah. nuts, right? Mm -hmm. If you wanted to, you could probably slice it into steaks right now and cook it a little bit more. I wouldn't know it's fish, but it's not exactly, you know, chicken either. Here, taste it, taste it. That's a good meaty bite. It's not fishy. It's crazy. It's definitely not fishy, mm -hmm. which is kind of surprising. It's super, like a little chicken tender. With a lemon on it? I have two. Mmm. Mm. So good. That's money, dude. That right there is money, dude. It's fried alligator gar. Fried alligator gar. Daddy wants your true and honest opinion. So I'm gonna, are we filming yet? Yep. Okay. Yeah, Jace helped me do it, and Ori. Oh, Jace, you need to be one of the very first ones to try this. Everybody take a piece in their hand here. Oh, Mom. Go around over there where Mom is, on the other side. Ethan already had some. Okay, Ruthie, here you go. Here, Jace. Peace. Yeah, I want some more. Okay, go, Ruthie. I'm ready to taste it. One, two, three, everybody taste it. Go, Ruthie. Okay. That's really good. 
Everybody, I want you to say thank you. What do you guys think? Thank you to Jose Cito Leon. And he's having surgery. Listen, he's having surgery on Friday. And he wanted to catch that alligator gar and that one just happened to die. Is that good? What does it taste like to you? What does that taste like? Let's cut it. Can I have this one? Yes. What would you compare it to? Does it have any similarities? Yeah, what do y'all think? That you've ever had before? No. Yeah, does it taste like chicken? Kind of. Tastes like chicken nuggets? Delicious. Like good chicken nuggets? It's just really tender, right? So that's gar. Or right, what'd you say? What'd you say your favorite animal okay, was? Let me for you. Let me for you. I mean to eat. No. <laughs> horses. Jay said horses. We love to eat horses. We're not. I do like these. Well, no, I don't. no, we like horses. Hey. Sorry. Pets. In Belgium they do, and I'm Belgian. No, but that uh, your favorite's what? Armadillo. Uh, yeah. Armadillo. So your favorite fish is? Gar. You like gar? That's one of your favorite? Because it's not fishy, right? Rena, what do you think? Tearing it up. Rena, what'd you think? It's good. It's really the best. Look how much meat comes out of this fish. Look at that. And that's not all of it. I still have a lot more marinating. Look, cooking on a grill just like chicken. Look at this. Jay said, Am I eating a gar? Am I eating the gar that dad? That's the gar that you helped me clean, bro. Ew. What do you mean, ew? What are you kidding me? You were loving it. This is the Trinity River. Jace, you're <laughs> kidding me. You were excited about it. They ate poop. No. Okay, explain they to him what they ate. Let me tell you. Okay, look. That's what a lot of people think. Okay, listen. Trinity River has a bad reputation, but down here it's really clean. Well, we are. We're far away from Dallas where they process it. Do you know that most of Dallas and Houston eats and drinks out of the trinity river their water comes from there their main source they bathe in it yeah or you tore it up i like the fried fish better than the grilled but both of them are really good lord we thank you for the scar we thank you for josecito leon that you be with them at the surgery well, car seems like a win from the fishing experience to the table experience there you go but you like the fried better So we tried that grill one. We're trying to grill one right now. It is very good. I mean, it's delicious. Right? Fabulous. With all that lemon on there. Yeah, all it's right. like a tender white fish. It's very nice. It's just a good meat. But it does not taste like fish. It just tastes like a nice fish. Not fishy at all. My favorite way to eat the gar is actually raw. Like sushi. Just like these chickens are eating this gar right here. So honestly, the best way and the favorite way is fried. That that gar was absolutely delicious uh, fried. Like hands down, that was the best favorite way for everybody. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Keep watching. We'll have more for you coming up here on Texas Jungle. God, family, and the outdoors season. Ooh, got him! Got him!